When you want to get married, you have a point system. So you tick it off and you give them a mark at each point. If they have deen, they get one. Okay? They get how much? One. If they have good looks, add a zero to that. How much does it become? Ten. If they, are, if they come from a very good family, add another zero to it. What do you get now? A hundred. If they have, for example, they come from a wealthy family, add another zero to that. How much did you get? A thousand. So if you have the other three where we added zeros, mashallah, it's a bonus. But if you don't have the deen, you drop the one. What's left? Zero. There's nothing there. So each thing would build on the deen. That's what it is. So the hadith is trying to tell you primarily it's the deen that you should look at. The consciousness of Allah. Do you pray five times a day? Wallahi, last night I was in a place called Harrogate. Someone asked me, I'm getting married. The guy doesn't pray. But he told me he will start. I said, let him start first. Two years later, you can readdress the matter and see, do you pray? If you do, then inshallah, we can talk about this now. Because when people say, I will change, they do not change. 99% they don't. If you think I'll marry this person and change them, you are living in another world altogether. People don't change. They become worse sometimes. Because they get into a comfort zone. They'll promise you the world. Both ways it happens. May Allah Almighty help us become good people. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Ya ma'ashara shababa, man istata'a min kumul ba'ata falyatazawwaj. O youth, whoever from among you is able and capable and has the capacity, get married. Make an effort. I said that capacity is not only financial and physical. Financial is important. Physical is important. You must maintain good health from a young age. Teenagers out there, don't waste yourselves by eating junk all the time. No, discipline yourselves, build your bodies, have good habits, quit the smoking and whatever else it may be. You need to build yourself for your future, for the sake of Allah, and then fulfill the obligation Allah has placed on your shoulders of marriage. It's part of the system of Allah. If marriage was not part of the plan of Allah, this masjid would have been empty. I wouldn't have been here. It's part of Allah's plan. He wants us to reproduce and recreate. That's how it is. So building yourself includes development of your consciousness of Allah and your connection with Allah. What else does it include? Building your capacity includes working on your habits and your character, your values, your morals. How do you speak? If you want to know whether you're ready to get married, Ask yourself, how much do I swear? If you swear a lot, you're not prepared. You're not ready to get married. You might think you are. You might have the physical capacity. You might have the financial ability. You don't make a good spouse, be it a wife or a husband, because you swear too much. You have an anger, anger, temper. You get angry for little things. Hang on, you're going to oppress your spouse both ways. It's not just the wife or the husband. It's both ways. Sometimes you have people who say, I'm excited, I'm getting married. And then later on, they find that the girl has a temper. You wouldn't believe it sometimes. I remember back in the day when I first started about 20 something odd years ago, counseling people and helping them and guiding them. I was still quite young myself. And there was an issue where men used to beat up their wives. At some point, and they would try and justify it by throwing in a verse of the Quran, and that was taken totally out of context. But as time progressed, it started changing. We have now a problem of wives beating their husbands, mashallah. May Allah grant us ease. And poor man is too embarrassed to admit and to come and say, I've got this problem, because he's supposed to be a man, so to speak. But that's not how it is. It works either way. We need to develop ourselves to prepare to get married, to qualify, to qualify to be a spouse. Work on your habits.